So we sent 20 teams to the Premier League. Two of them fought like Warriors and Avengers. And then we had the four that thought the Premier League was like microwave. You know, it was too hot for them to handle. Some people call them the four idiots. Well, I didn't say that, I just heard it. And then we had the other 14 that were just simply supporters club. You see, we sent three Africans on a voyage to England. And they all discovered gold. Oh yes. Do you agree with me that the Premier League is like weed addiction? Smoke weed every day. Don't try it at home, except you live in Amsterdam. What I was actually saying was, you get very bored, right? You know, you're so addicted to the Premier League. At the end of the day, you know, Premier League is gone. You have nothing to do. And you're like looking for football, right? Right? That wasn't what I wanted to talk to you about. Welcome to my Premier League review for this season. Let's get right into it. The Manchester United players got shovel to gouge Mourinho out of the club and they succeeded in doing that. <laughs> and there came Ole with his beautiful wheels, beautiful sports car. Ole on the wheels, Ole on the wheels. I'm sorry boy, crashed. I think the owner's hands were forced because we were doing so well at the beginning. But I'm sorry guys, it doesn't happen like that. You can never be up here all the time. You have to come down. Instead of some players to focus on their football, they were busy focusing on Instagram and Facebook. So as Venga left Arsenal Football Club and was replaced by Emery. But it made no difference, right? No, I don't think so. You see, I've said it before, you cannot make fire out of wet firewood. It is not possible anywhere. Some people said, ah, use petrol, use diesel. Who is the petrol or diesel here? Is Azenvenga the petrol or Emery the diesel? Fire and petrol has come and the players are still the same. These players are wet firewood. There is no amount of diesel or petrol that can help the situation. <laughs> Chelsea Football Club, the best among the four idiots in the Premier League. While they were all complaining before the season, we want attractive football, attractive football. Well, there came Sari Ball. But with Sari Ball came sour sauce and confusion. Be careful what you wish for. The highlight, Sari told Kepa, leave the pitch. Kepa said, no, I'm not leaving the pitch. I said, leave the pitch. He said, no, sir, I'm not leaving the pitch. I have never seen such confusion and anger in a coach like that day that Kepa refused to leave the pitch. Mutiny at his best. This man was pacing back and forth like a man waiting for pregnancy results when he was 18. By the way, Chelsea fans, I'm so sorry. Bye-bye, Hazard. Bye. 